It's a new day. I want to offer you that it's a new day and any part of you that doesn't feel that it's a new day might have some old energies just in their final tug of war, but I just want to offer you to not fuel them, not give them power, just be with them today. Be with them right now. All your pain is being transcended right now. Everything is changing right now. Everything not only is changing inside of you right now, but it's changing for the world. So beautifully. And I know it doesn't look like it. That's just because things that are dark are coming to light. That's all that is. And there are things in our bodies that are little symptoms of darkness. Little things in our bodies that are, are not about the issue but they're symptoms of darkness. And I wanna offer you that when you stop holding on and you stop fueling that and you stop feeding it, it'll get louder and crazier and then disappear. And then you have this whole new energy that's just more here, where everything's okay, where you're not trying to get somewhere for everything to be okay. Someone wrote in the panel, it's only Kyle, you look so rejuvenated. What's the secret? Well, thank you. Um, there's a lot, one is a better camera and a new background and all kinds of different stuff. But another thing is letting go, letting go of keeping things going and fighting to keep things going that, that aren't supposed to keep going. And just feeling the anger and the crying out and the suffering and then just being so present for it. I know you want that thing. I know you want that, you know, person to see you. I know you want that food. I know you do, but we're not going to. And I just love you. And then it just cries and cries and goes, I don't know what I am without that. And you're like, I know. And you just stay with it and you don't feed it. In the last week, I've let go of several things. And, and one of them, honestly, is hope. And I mean this in a good way. Hope can be a wonderful thing, but it can also make, give you, give you the possibility that something that doesn't work will. And you, you might just be an inch away from getting it to work. Hope goes, you know, if only X, Y, Z, then, and it doesn't honor what's true now. And if you ask yourself, what's true now, this doesn't align. What's true now? I'm not seeing me by trying to keep something that doesn't align going. What's true now? This isn't good for me. Not, I didn't say it's not good for me, but it will be if. The universe doesn't work that way. The universe is like, no, 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 just the first thing is all you gotta say. Does this work or not? Does this fit me or not? And one of the most amazing things about this time is everything that doesn't fit your soul right now will fall off of you. You don't have a choice. Everything that doesn't fit your soul 
there's no room for it anymore because you would have to keep a part of you alive to keep it. And that's trying to be purged. If something doesn't align to keep it in your life, you would have to keep a part of you alive, like hope. What if when we remove hope, you're left with what is, and what if that's better? What if hope is actually the denial of what is? It's almost like you have to deny what is to say this could be something. You have to deny what is to say this will change. Instead, you could be fully in the presence of what's happening now. What's happening now? What's happening in your body now? What's happening with your feelings now? And you don't need to say, this is happening with my feelings, but soon it'll be fixed. No, that is the numbing of yourself. That is not necessary. What is happening in your body? And it's perfect what's happening in the world, and it's perfect. What's happening? And what do you feel? Can you feel a cord in your stomach to something that you know has to go? If you, if you don't honor that, then, then you're going to suffer right now. And maybe it wants to show you something else. Like maybe it goes, if you let go of this, you'll finally bring your feelings of guilt to the light. If you let go of this, you'll bring your feelings of shame to the light. Like maybe keeping this thing stops you from having to feel shame. Maybe keeping this thing stops you from having to feel guilt. I don't have to feel resentment if I keep this going. Why is what's wrong with feeling some resentment? How about you just feel some resentment and sit present with guilt so it can pass through? And then hear how loud the silence is here. Man, I don't care how good the highest high is you've ever felt whether you've fallen head over heels for someone, won the lottery, got your dream career, that is nothing compared to the peace you can feel in the now when you stop needing those things. When you stop letting that energy that, that just is so convinced you need this person to see you. You need to be understood. You need that addiction. You need to fill up with, with Instagram. That shit is not what you want. That's what a pattern wants. So it doesn't have to see what it is. I was talking to someone today and a client and she was saying, I feel like the universe doesn't want me to, 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 the universe says I don't deserve things. And I said, well, maybe the universe doesn't feel you should have something now because it has energies to purge. And she said, do you see, I, I just feel like it's just saying like it's punishing me. I'm like, no, no, no. If you have to go to the bathroom, you have to go to the bathroom. It doesn't matter if you have a friend on a deathbed, you're gonna go to the bathroom. And that doesn't mean you don't deserve to be with the friend on their deathbed. That doesn't mean you don't deserve it. No matter what, you have to release. You have to go pee. And your body right now is going before you want a bunch of stuff, before you want to be seen by someone else. Right now, we're going to make that unattainable. So you release. You notice you have no choice but to release now. That you just don't get to chase that person. You don't get to chase that thing. 
you don't even get to look into the future for some hope of what you will be. It's coming out now. Who knows what I'm talking about? Yeah, that's right, Kiri. The elevator is moving and the buttons are broken. You don't have a choice. No matter how many business plans you create or how many things you sign up for, or how many new, this is my direction or this is the relationship. It doesn't matter, that's falling off now. You, you have to let that fall off now. It's time to let that fall off now. And it's time to just let, not grab for anything. Because there's a you that you don't understand. There's a, a higher present you, but it has to get through the giant fears that exist within your body. It has to get through the, the it, it's like you, you've never ever once known what you actually are. We have spent our whole life being a pattern to prevent trauma. And life is so cool that it goes, I'm going to make you deal with that trauma now. That's why I'm going to make that person leave you. That's why I'm going to make the restaurant close. That's why I'm going to make you not even able to talk. You're going to muzzle your face when you go to the store. That's why I'm going to make you not have any ability to do anything but go inward. Because you cannot release shit until you see it. And all we've seen is that person, that thing, that, this thing, this, I like, and we keep not looking at here. So life is so cool. It goes, remove those things. And then you're just sitting there suffering, but present for the suffering. You're suffering, but you're present for the suffering. So now you're finally hearing it. And you just don't fix it with the get the person back. You don't fix it with the get, you know, seen by, you don't fix it with the Instagram. You just sit and let yourself suffer and move to a frequency where you're no longer needing to be loved or seen by people's egos. And instead you are merging with source and you are now actually seen not conditionally seen. You're actually seen. You're seen in a way that says you deserve to exist because you're here. You're seen in a way that says you deserve to anything because you're here. You're seen in a way that says the world is actually mirroring your, the world is mirroring your connection to yourself. The more you are getting love from the universe in the now and not from just people that you keep going so they won't leave you. It's not love. That's just don't abandon me. Then all of life goes, finally, you've accessed the real you. Here's a crazy, magical, holy shit world. Here's a synchronicity. Here's another one. Here's that person calling you that you just thought of all the time, all the time. Here's, here's everything answering itself for you. Here's all the things that you wanted but didn't know you wanted. Here's all the things that you deserve that are so much bigger than what you were chasing. Here's an actual right person for you. Here's a good friend. Here's a person who's staying in your life. Here's what you, what you get if you stop moving from the pattern that says, don't abandon me everything, everything. I have the world for you. Stop. I have the world for you. Stop. I was watching a video Phil Good put out yesterday, and I thought it was phenomenal, actually. And, and he was saying that um, what the universe has for you is nothing. Is, is, is what you want is nothing compared to what the universe has for you. I don't want to misquote him and then have him say, no, it's back. You're backwards. What the universe has for you. And this is another thing he said, but it's beyond your logic. It's beyond your logic and your understanding, right? And I'm just coupling with what he says. It's exactly right. Your logic is, is trying to fill voids. 
like just see yourself as constantly spinning plates, right? Do you get what I mean by that? You're always doing. You're constantly spinning plates because if a plate falls, you face that trauma, you finally hit that trauma and then you're free. If that plate actually falls, you're finally free. Conan O'Brien said, there's nothing more freeing than having your worst fear realized. And I have to agree with that. That preventing of that fear is also preventing of the seeing of all that you are. That preventing of that fear, on the other side of that fear is magic and synchronicity and everything. So let yourself be abandoned. Let yourself draw a boundary to someone. Let yourself, let yourself be lost. Let yourself feel needy. And don't do something about it. Don't text everyone. Don't just, it, everything passes, but it can't pass if you keep reburying it. Everything passes. There is no pain you can sit with that won't pass, but you can prevent it for years and years and years. And you can use hope to block it. And you can use um, new possibilities to block it. And you can use new addictive moves to block it. Feel what wants to be seen inside if you don't chase that thing. Let's be present so all the plates inside of your body can fall out. This morning I was meditating and I was like, what if the whole world's scary? Like what if all of the world's scary? Like the whole thing is a horror movie. Like every person you know is dangerous, everything. And then I was like, what if I'm unloading a thing that sees through that lens in me? What if the universe outside is the world in me? And what if I've, I've, I've had this filter that's scared and I call it the world, but it's actually in me. Like the world's dangerous, the world's dangerous. Oh, what in me is scared of me? What in me, right? What in me is so scared of me? And then I, I got present for it. I meditated for quite a while. I fell back asleep. And then I had this dream that I was just hugging Vivi so much and let her know how safe she was. And I woke up and there were tears already coming down my face. And then I just cried. The world is not actually what's scary to you. You're scared of yourself. You're not scared of Biden. You're not scared of lockdowns. You're not scared of, you're scared of yourself. And you can hold a present space for that fear now. because that's how you transcend it. You just walk right into it. Whatever your biggest fear is, just walk right into it. Otherwise you keep that fear going and then move in all these ways to prevent that from happening and then create it. And the world is mirroring you and it's going, check it out. Here's your pattern. You're scared of this. Hold a present space for it. Become the now. Become the now. As someone I also really respect as a speaker, Aaron Abke said, you need to understand that you're more than the body. You are free. You're actually free. But you have put your soul in lockdown. So the world's showing you that. Every time you wanted something and didn't say it, every time you didn't say no, every time you didn't hold up a boundary, every time you felt a calling and then went to an addiction, you put your own soul in lockdown. So the universe is like, okay, show them lockdown. They're asking for it. 
but it's not even us as a collective. It's just you. Like there's another thing we do where we go, all the people will, no, 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 this is mirroring you. While we treat them with love and respect, they're extras in the movie of your life. They're you, just you. Not he's talking to all of us. I'm literally just talking to you, just you. You only have responsibility for you. And what if this whole thing is your dream? And what if you have been trapping yourself within the realms of an invisible, scary monster that you've created by trapping yourself? Like you've just kept re-trapping yourself and saying, I can't be the full me. I have to be the pattern. I have to shame myself. I have to guilt myself. And then the world's like, okay, create a guilt-based, shame-based world. They're asking for it. You're asking for it. So as you hear this content, also use this to free your soul from your own habitual, ongoing, unnoticed lockdown. Why are we screaming for freedom while we prison ourselves, while we imprison ourselves? Why are we, what are we doing? You don't want freedom. Then you, you wouldn't go to dinner with that person you don't like. You wouldn't, you don't want freedom. You wouldn't keep calling people that don't align with you. You don't want freedom. You wouldn't live on Instagram. We're sitting here screaming for freedom of speech while your soul is trying to talk. You're the one that's the oppressor. You're the totalitarian government. Based on nothing other than your actions. Your soul's trying to talk to you and there's only one way to listen to it and that's by listening through the now. Not listening through the ego. So when we meditate, which we're about to meditate in a second, really do it and listen to whatever needs to be seen. And as you do, you open beyond the smallness of the belief that you're your body, open up. Let more in. Watch as the patterns come up and at first they hurt and then they kind of break apart and then they kind of separate and then they're not, there's no such thing. You're here now for the rest of this journey to completely connect with the presence of the now, to listen to the patterns and not feed the patterns. The only way out is through. Listen to the patterns don't feed the patterns. Oh, I really want that person to, to love me and come back. Listen, don't feed it. Don't call the person. I'm so proud of myself. I want them to know how proud I am of that. No, don't. Watch that pattern. Just let it, let it just kind of lonely say it's shit, right? Oh, I, I don't think it's working. Oh, it really hurts now. Oh, it's on its way out. It's on its way out. It's starting to hurt. Good. I feel so lost and helpless. Oh, get right here and listen from the now. Not need to have some person across from you nodding so you feel seen. Yes, I, I know what you mean. Then you can cry. No, merge into the now that actually has none of those stories. The now doesn't have those stories. You've been keeping yourself a small story and it's time for you to turn into a butterfly and it will hurt if you keep feeding it because you have an awareness that you're free and then you go, I wanna be free, but I gotta pay the bills and then your bills are more important than your freedom. That's lockdown. You don't think it's gonna take care of that shit? You don't think it'll change what you spend on? You don't think it'll change? Like, I want to, but my family will be mad at me. <laughs> it's got that. It's going to take care of that. And who cares? 
there's such, I've heard so many people defend their why they can't, but very few people defend that you'll be merged with your soul and connect to God. How about we defend that side? What would you become if you really actually listened for a long time to those pains? What would you become? Not defend, yeah, but uh, you don't know, I got the mortgage. Not to def stop defending that. Trust that the shit is gonna take care of itself. And a lot of people talk about balancing the two worlds. Like I gotta do this, I do this. Just do the soul part. You'll know what to do. The ego trying to balance your soul and ego is blocking both from happening. Just follow your soul and watch all of life change. Watch Congress change. Watch as force is dissolved. Watch as control is dissolved. That you can you dissolve the control in you, you dissolve the control in the world. Don't you see the exact match to what is unseen in you is what's unseen in the world? Like every day you clear something out, suddenly something clears somewhere else. Like all of a sudden, like I feel this part of me that's trying to come to light. And then you find out like there's protests in France. You're just like, I see the, the it's a match. You know what the number one enemy of darkness is? The light. It just has to be seen and it's over. It just has to be seen. That's why you never again need to say, so what do I do? Nothing, nothing, just see it. Let it show you stuff. What do I do? No, 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 that's you trying to egoically orchestrate it. Stop it, just see it, just see it. Ooh, you better run. So just see it. 